Hey there, travelers! Today in this video, we'll talk about the most marvelous cities to visit in Europe. Europe is considered the most beautiful, and every country offers a different culture, history, and art. Here are the top 99 favorite cities to visit in Europe. Clairvaux Although just a town of 1,300 residents in Luxembourg, Clairvaux is full of awesome things to experience and do. Most people visit this traditional Luxembourgish town for its classical architecture and its convenient access to many nearby nature trails. However, before you hit those trails, you need to visit Clairvaux Castle in the heart of the town, which likely dates back hundreds of years and was restored in the late 20th century. Another particularly unique attraction here is the Family of Man, a museum that explores the idea of what it means to be human. It's a very deep-minded museum, where you'll be met with ideas of love, life, death, and faith. Finish off your sightseeing with the Abbe Saint-Maurice de Clairvaux, which gives breathtaking views of the town. Luxembourg is a gem in Europe, and this town is a must-see while you're in the country. Ohrid Ohrid is a beautiful city in Macedonia known for at one time having 265 churches, one for every day of the year. Oed provides endless history for travelers. For example, some famous churches to visit are the Church of St. Sophia and the Church of St. John at Caneo. Because of this, Oed is known as the holy center of the area. The churches are just the beginning. As a lakeside town, Ohrid has glimmering beaches in addition to storybook cobblestone streets. Top that off with delicious Turkish and Mediterranean food, and you've got an amazing vacation destination that is more affordable than other European destinations. Ohrid is the best of all worlds. You're a bit off the beaten path, but still around plenty of amazing restaurants and things to do, and you're surrounded by a breathtaking landscape. Ulsing. Another great city in Montenegro is Ulsing. You can find this city in the south of Montenegro at the coast, which is part of the reason why the city is so popular among tourists. At Ulsing, you can find the longest beach of the Adriatic Sea called Valika Plaza, and it's 13 kilometers long. You'll also have a chance to visit Ada Bojana when you go to Ulsing. This is a river island with stunning sandy beaches. Another highlight in Ulsing you should visit is Valdanos. This bay is covered in olive trees, which makes it perfect for taking a romantic stroll. When you get to Ulsing, you will have plenty of things to do and to visit. There are lots of amazing hotels as well as delicious restaurants to have dinner at. You can also stop by the cafes during the day to enjoy some coffee and a snack before you visit one of the amazing galleries in Ulsing. Lugano it is the biggest town in the popular vacation region of Ticino, Switzerland. Lugano is an amazing destination due to its serene setting on Lake Lugano, beautiful green spaces and historic buildings. Lugano balances world-class amenities with the quaintness of a small town, topped off with a mild climate. This historic center, which has many Baroque and Renaissance churches, is traffic-free and ideal for walking and absorbing the surroundings at your own pace. Be sure to visit Pazal X School on Tuesday or Friday mornings for fresh produce. Art lovers enjoy the many exhibitions the city has to offer. Nature enthusiasts can climb up Mont San Salvatore and Mont Bray the nearby mountains to get an unbeatable panoramic view of the city. Many people also opt for a picturesque boat ride on the lake before heading into town for a delicious Swiss meal with a Mediterranean flair. Hersig Novi Hersig Novi is a beautiful city in Montenegro with approximately 16,000 inhabitants. The city has 21 communities for its citizens and 40 villages. Hersig Novi is one of the youngest cities in the region as it was founded in 1382. It was a commercial town at first, as it was used mostly for salt and silk, but there are plenty of other great things about it as well. Hersig Nofi actually has one of the prettiest bays in the world, which is Boca Bay. You can find Hersig Novi on the slopes of the Orjan Mountains, 
which is 1,895 meters high. In the winter, it offers its visitors and citizens to practice all kinds of fun winter sports. The city is great for people who love hunting as well, since there are plenty of spots where you can do this activity. Malmo Located in southwestern Sweden, it is a fortified city in a beautiful town known as Malmo. It's Sweden's third largest city that has a lot of things to offer to tourists. Tourists can visit different parks, historical buildings, and libraries. Malmo is also known as the city of parks since 34 hectares of its land are covered in green spaces. However, Malmo is not only famous for its beautiful buildings and parks, but also for its amazing museums. Some of the most popular museums are the Malmohus Castle, Disgusting Food Museum, Moderna Museet, and the Technology and Maritime Museum. Other top tourist attractions in this city are David Shaw for shopping, Malmo Sula Hall for food, and Rybers Borg Beach for swimming. Vaduz. Set along the Rhine River is Vaduz, the capital of Liechtenstein. The city's most famous icon is Vaduz Castle, where the royal family lives. Like many castles, it sits on a hill and overlooks the city and can be seen from most places as you walk around. Although Valduz is a smaller capital city with no airport, most tourists fly to Zurich, Switzerland, it still has a vibrant tourist industry. In addition to the Valduz castle, other popular landmarks are the Cathedral of St. Florent, Government House, and the City Hall. Additionally, the Kunst Museum, Museum of Fine Arts, is a unique building made of black basalt stone and tented concrete. The surface is hand-carved and reflects the surroundings, which is a sight to see. With beautiful architecture and walkable streets, simply walking around is a great way to see the sights in this charming town. Zagreb Speaking of Croatia's largest, most beautiful cities, the capital Zagreb is its largest city with a very interesting nickname, City of Museums. Zagreb is nestled right into the Dinaric Alps in a couple of hours drive from the Adriatic. You'll forget about the beach though, as this city is made for strolling. Zagreb has been described by National Geographic as a big town disguised as a small city. And that couldn't be more true. Church spires dot the skyline. Affluent cafes feed into popular cafe culture and street life. There's always something going on. From festivals to food markets, markets and live music, Zagreb manages a balance of year-round events and a calm, soothing atmosphere. Even away from the upper town's cobblestones and red roofs, the city spans from the Savo River to the Dinaric Alps. As a result, it's nearly all hills, parks, and gardens. Pristina Pristina, the capital of Kosovo, is a bustling and exciting city. It has a rich history, as it's been inhabited by people since prehistoric times. It's also undeniably the country's cultural center with institutions like the National Theater of Kosovo, the National Art Gallery, and the Ethnographic Museum. Pristina's history can be seen everywhere. For example, it has 21 protected historical monuments, including an Ottoman bath, four mosques, and a restored Orthodox church. If you want a break from the historical attractions, check out Jermia Park a large green space with a swimming pool designed to look like a lake, tennis courts, and walking trails. There is plenty of nightlife to discover as there are many bars and nightclubs, especially since Pristina is a university center. Pristina is also known for its coffee culture. There are countless coffee bars with unique atmospheres throughout the city. Tartu Tartu is the second biggest city in Estonia, but it's often considered the intellectual capital city. It's the home of the country's oldest and most well-regarded university and other academic institutions. The city's mind-blowing total of 16 universities leads to a youthful population, making fantastic nightlife and a creative spirit. For example, you'll find amazing street art on the sides of old buildings throughout the city and cafes buzzing with lively conversations. 
As a bustling city, Tartu often has theater performances, festivals, and concerts in addition to their endless nightlife. Tartu lost many buildings during World War II, but still has a mix of traditional and modern architecture. Outside of the town center, sleek, modern buildings pepper the skyline. Tartu is pretty compact, so it's perfect for exploring on foot. You can see some of the greatest sights within a few streets. Lefkada Island The island of Lefkada in the Ionian Sea is one of the most popular tourist destinations. It is an ideal destination for those seeking peace and tranquility, as it's situated on one of the most beautiful beaches in Greece. Lefkada Island has a rich history and culture that can be seen in its architecture and cuisine. The island attracts travelers from all over the world who are looking for relaxation and natural beauty. There are also plenty of activities to do while visiting, such as hiking, kayaking, fishing, or just relaxing at one of the many hotels or resorts on the island. Some of the most popular places to visit on Lefkada are the Cave of the Blue Daughters, the Church of Agios Ionis, and the Agios Stephanos Monastery. Nidri Waterfall is another stunning landmark in Lefkada Island that you must not miss when visiting here. Monaco Monaco is not a city, but a small country pretty much like a city. Monaco is the second smallest country in the world, with an area of 2.02 kilometers square. It is a stunning area located near France and Italy. Monaco is also called the land of millionaires. Monaco is well known for many things, such as its beautiful location by the Mediterranean Sea, world-class casinos, luxury stores, and international events. Monaco has a lovely balance of history and modern things to do, as it has everything from nightlife to museums and palaces. And if you're looking for a memorable casino experience, be sure to stop at the Grand Casino in Monte Carlo. You'll be impressed even before you go in, as lines of luxury cars are lined up outside. You can also board a scenic flight to see the beautiful Côte d'Azur from above. Monaco's cuisine is also excellent, although there might be a broad price range. Wander along the busy marina for a hopping beach bar or wander into Monte Carlo for a fancier bite to eat. Thessaloniki Present on the northwest corner of the Aegean Sea with the delta of the Axios on its left is Thessaloniki, which is the second largest city in Greece and the capital of the Thessaly region. It's also one of the most important trade centers in the Balkans. The city has been an important cultural center since its establishment, with its rich history being reflected in its architectural style, which ranges from ancient Greek elements to Byzantine and Ottoman influences. Because it is a very old city with a rich history, there are many interesting things to see in it, such as the White Tower, the Church of Agia Sophia, and the Archaeological Museum of Thessaloniki. Gozo the Maltese island of Gozo is a serene place to visit on the Mediterranean. It is the second biggest island of Malta and much quieter than the Big Island. If you're looking for a relaxing seaside experience, Gozo is worth checking out. With clear waters surrounding this island, you won't be disappointed. Definitely try to sample all the local food, including great wines, cheeses, and delicious olive oils. You also can't miss the Citadel, located in the beautiful and fortified town of Victoria. Constructed in the 15th century, the fortress has truly stood the test of time. You'll have an amazing view from the hilltop of the Citadel. Around every corner, churches display beautiful architecture. We suggest visiting the Zebug Church in the least. Overall, Gozo is a quick nature getaway that's just a short hop from the European mainland. Geiranger Fjord The great tourist spot in Norway is the Geiranger Fjord. It is located in Stranda. This fjord has been on the UNESCO World Heritage List since 2005 and for good reason. This spot is actually one of the most visited fjords in Norway and you can find multiple stunning waterfalls along the sides of the fjord. Geiranger Fjord is also surrounded by large mountains which make the view all the more impressive. The fjord is 15 kilometers long and has a depth of 260 meters. When you're walking along the fjord, you will find multiple abandoned farms as well. 
You can also visit a farm like Skegetfla or Bloomberg, for example. Lofoten Islands. If you're looking for one of the most beautiful places in the world, you should go to Lofoten Islands in Norway. These islands can be found in the northern part of Norway, and there are hundreds of islands. There are some main islands as well, which are all connected by road bridges and tunnels underneath the water, so it's easy to travel between them. When you get to Lofoten Islands, you should visit Svalver. This is the largest town in the area, which even has its own airport. The houses are truly special since they have dozens of traditional wooden homes. In Svalver, you can visit the Lofoten War Memorial Museum, where you can find a lot of authentic uniforms, weapons, medals, and other objects. Helsinki the Finnish seaside capital city of Helsinki offers an abundance of diverse activities for visitors. Helsinki boasts beautiful churches, traditional marketplaces, delicious Nordic gastronomy, and unique design. One major highlight is Senate Square, an area filled with neoclassical architecture and the famous Helsinki Cathedral. You can't miss Helsinki's design district, which includes 200 furniture shops, studios, jewelry workshops, and fashion boutiques. Another landmark is Tampa Laukio, a partially underground church built into colorful bedrock. Many of these sites can easily be explored on foot, as the city is fairly compact. Helsinki also has a thriving scene for alternative music, as many bars host rock music nearly every night. Make sure to visit a sauna while you're there. For a yummy food experience, spend a few hours at Market Square. Kwapa Tori where you can find meat pies, fried fish, and fresh bread. Rotterdam. Rotterdam is an amazing city in the Netherlands. One of the best features of this city is its big port, which is really important for Europe. The city is the second largest city in the Netherlands, and it's located 30 kilometers from the North Sea. Although Rotterdam was once a really large and even the second merchant city of the Netherlands, one third of its port facilities were destroyed by the Germans in World War II. Some buildings survived, but they pretty much built a new city. When you go to Rotterdam, you should definitely visit the Eris Musbrug. They have a wonderful zoo called Diergard Blisdorp as well, so make sure you make a stop there. Budva. Set at the heart of the glistening Adriatic Sea is the town of Budva in Montenegro. This town is famous for its fine beaches, stone-walled streets, and vibrant nightlife. There are many different attractions to visit when you make your way to Budva. The old town is a must-see, as is the new city of Budva Riviera. The main reason for visiting Budva is to find somewhere to enjoy your time on the coast. Royal Beach, Mogren Beach, and Calypso Beach are some of the top tourist attractions in this city. Once you're in the city, the first thing you need to do is visit Pod Main Monastery. You can spend the rest of the day exploring the Citadel Fortress and enjoy the night by partying at the Top Hill Club. You'll also find that the people in Budva are friendly and warm. You'll have a great time in this ancient city, so don't hesitate to visit. Skalpia is a fascinating and affordable city that serves as North Macedonia's political, cultural, and economic center. Many travelers explore the city center where over 100 monuments and statues stand. Although this area isn't popular with locals, all the decoration is interesting to visitors. Additionally, Mother Teresa was actually born in Skalpia. And there is a lovely Mother Teresa Memorial House, which includes a museum to honor her. Throughout the city, you'll see a charming blend of Byzantine and Ottoman sites centered around the old town known as Karsija. There's also a big casino scene in Skalpia, and as far as food goes, Skalpia has amazing traditional Macedonian dishes with Mediterranean Middle Eastern influences. But on top of that, there's a vibrant wine culture to explore. And if you're looking for an adventure, make sure to climb Mount Vodno, just 15 minutes outside of Skalpia for a stunning panoramic view. Seski Krumlov Situated in the South Bohemian region of Cheshia is the popular city of Seski Kromlov. It's a sight to see with its stunning and well-preserved Gothic, Renaissance, and Baroque architecture. 
It's also uniquely placed on both banks of the Tava River. Amazingly, the historic town center has the same layout as the Middle Ages and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In the middle of the old town is Born Nosti Square, a major highlight of the city. Additionally, several beautiful churches and museums scatter the town, including one dedicated to the famous painter Egon Shale. Lastly, you can't miss the Chesky Kromlov Castle, which is among the largest castles in Central Europe and has over 40 buildings. As one of the most popular towns in Cheshire, it has so much to offer travelers, from cozy pubs, sweet desserts, to amazing coffee and delicious riverside eateries. Split, Croatia's crown jewel and Croatia's second largest city. If you time your visit right before the busy season in the summer months of June to August, you'll find yourself in another world. Empty streets, no long lines, and a selection of crowdless attractions to marvel at. Split is ethereal. As far as you can cast your gaze, it's all mesmerizing beaches, spacious islands, and shimmering coastlines on the Adriatic Sea. As soon as you touch base, you'll want to hit those beaches. Avsis Beach is a must. Like something straight out of a postcard, it's got ice cream parlors, trendy restaurants and bars, and thriving boardwalk teeming with life. Also check out Marjan Forest Park, the Roman palaces, and the city ruins. Sofia. This city in Bulgaria should be on every traveler's to visit list. Why? It's unbelievably dramatically inexpensive. And if you want a taste of the sweeter life, the Tosha Boulevard will serve you all your posh and fashion needs. Otherwise, you're in for what feels like a steal for the price. Just ahead of the boulevard is the Vatosha Mountain, often topped with a layer of snow and highlighted by the city's picture-perfect buildings. The mountain is reachable through the Aleko Ski Resort, where a gondola lift will drop you right off. You're looking at a city made during the Second Bulgarian Empire in the 1300s. Red-roofed brick buildings with neo-Byzantine-style architecture. Unmissable examples of the city's history are the Central Baths, one of Sofia's most famous buildings that remained in use until the 80s, and Sofia Church, built in the 500s, on top of the city of Sederka's necropolis. Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina with cobblestone roads, centuries-old buildings, and an old-world charm feel. Sarajevo is one for the books. From the get-go ahead to Sarajevo's towering mountains for candid shots of their hiking trails and picturesque views. It's recommended to visit the beautiful Skakavak waterfall, which stretches 98 meters into the sky, one of the tallest in the Balkans. Sarajevo just so happens to be home to many fortresses. The most impressive is the White Fortress, as it is a must-see. After a day of wandering mountainous paths, it's recommended to visit Sarajevo's old town. Baskarsida comes in, the heart of the city. This city is a must visit for people who love taking pictures because this city is for Instagrammable candidates. This beautiful city is also for foodie blogs. The city has many cuisines, Bosnian, Thai, Italian, Tunisian, Turkish, and many more. You'll definitely enjoy this city. Azores. The Azores Islands in Portugal are home to some of the most beautiful landscapes in Europe, making it an ideal holiday destination. These islands have been attracting tourists for many years, and it's not hard to see why. People come here to explore its rich history and culture. They visit Azores and experience what life on the islands is like. In the broad daylight, you can enjoy the climate, while at night, the stars offer a wonderful view that's hard to come by in other places. You'll love this place if you're a nature lover. There are some incredible sites for hiking, surfing, diving, caving, swimming, or just whale watching. Angra de Herissimo is one of the greatest gems of the Azores. This part of the island is an animated city made of traditional houses and mosaic sidewalks. Here you can also visit the majestic São João Baptista Fortress, which dates back to 1567. Varna On to Varna, the city of Bulgaria. 
a black sea port and somewhere you'll want to visit over and over again. Appealing to both the party crowds and the historians at heart, you'll find your niche in Varna. After all, this was a summer hotspot for Bulgarian nobility for ages. Here's the sitch. Varna is home to a goliath of a park. It stretches along the seafront and into the city. Half a day dedicated to the sea garden from which you can make a smooth maneuver to a beach is something you won't regret. Lively music, cocktails, and rows of cafes, bars, and restaurants, Varna lived up to its party city reputation, especially if they're beach parties. In the morning, though, immerse yourself in culture. You can visit these few destinations, the world's oldest gold treasure, 6,500-year-old Thracian graves, the 600-year-old Aladza Monastery, and the Stone Forest. Reykjavik, capital of Iceland and the northernmost capital in the world, situated on the stunning Fax Floy Bay, Reykjavik is a must-visit for anyone traveling to Iceland. The city is home to a wide variety of attractions, including the striking Hall Grim Schmirksha Church, the iconic Harpa Concert Hall, and the Icelandic Phallological Museum. Yes, that's a museum dedicated to phalluses. Reykjavik is also a great place to sample some of Iceland's famous seafood, with plenty of restaurants specializing in fresh fish and lobster. And no visit to Reykjavik would be complete without seeing the northern lights. These natural wonders can best be viewed from late September to early April, when they're visible in the sky over Reykjavik. So whether you're interested in culture, food, or nature, Reykjavik has something for everyone. Reykjavik is a vibrant city with plenty to see and do. Astana If you're looking for a truly unique travel destination, then Astana, the capital city of Kazakhstan, should be at the top of your list. There are plenty of things to see and do. The capital city is home to a variety of museums, monuments, and parks. This relatively young city, it was only founded in 1830, has already undergone a transformation. The skyline is dotted with gleaming new skyscrapers, and the streets are lined with leafy parks and gardens. However, Astana still retains its Kazka identity, with traditional wooden houses and yurts dotting the landscape. Visitors can explore the city's rich history at museums such as the National Museum of Kazakhstan and the Hazrat Sultan Mosque, or they can enjoy the great outdoors at one of Astana's many parks, such as Bay Tarek Tower. No matter what your interests are, Astana has something for you. Githon If you prefer smaller villages over bigger cities, you should visit Githon in the Netherlands. This is a really cute village in the Netherlands. One of the most special things about this place is that the village doesn't have roads in the center. That's why most people go from one place to the other in the water in Githon. You can transport yourself a lot by boat here, which makes it really special. The village itself is really old as well. It was created over 800 years ago. The locals actually dug the city themselves by hand and even created a system with canals this way. They created a lot of small islands by digging everything out, which are now connected by bridges to walk or cycle on. Bratislava the capital of Slovakia, which is conveniently situated between the more well-known cities of Budapest and Vienna. The majority of Bratislava's sites are located in the Old Town. It is a lovely area of the city that will surely capture the hearts of everyone visiting it. It's fun to explore the Old Town neighborhood and discover amazing photographic locations. Its main square, Old Town Hall, National Theater, and St. Martin's Cathedral are must-see attractions for history buffs. If you are a nature lover, Bratislava will be a little paradise with its lush green mountains, lovely wineries, and parks with hiking trails surrounding the entire city. Don't forget to see the beautiful Bratislava Castle, and at the highest points of the location, it offers a breathtaking view of the old town and the gorgeous Danube River. The City of Luxembourg Situated on the Alzette and Petrus rivers in Luxembourg is the capital of this landlocked country. Although quite small, the city of Luxembourg has a lively cultural scene due to its many museums, including the National Museum of History and Art. In fact, the city has been named the European Capital of Culture twice. 
Most travelers visit the Gothic Revival Cathedral of Notre Dame, AM Tunnel, an underground art gallery, and the Grand Ducal Palace. The city is very cosmopolitan and multicultural. When you roam around, you might hear several different languages. If you enjoy exploring on foot, this is an ideal place to visit since everything from shops to restaurants to museums, shops, and more are within walking distance. Lastly, be sure to stroll along the Corniche, which is known as Europe's most beautiful balcony. Don't overlook this small city when planning a European vacation. Ljubljana Ljubljana, widely known as the Green City of Europe, is a must-visit location when visiting Slovenia. This city offers beauty that is on par with the splendor of places like Paris or Venice. Its many roads connect the Perseran Square to practically all of the city's stunning attractions. The Jubjanica River's green water flows through the center of the city. There are many impressive bridges that cross the river, including the Triple Bridge and the well-known Dragon Bridge. Nothing beats a leisurely stroll along the river's edge while soaking in the stunning scenery. By going to some of the museums, you can thoroughly immerse yourself in the history and culture of Ljubljana. The National Gallery has a wonderful collection of artwork from the medieval eras, while the National Museum of Slovenia houses the world's oldest flute, which dates back 55,000 years. Vilnius Located in southwest Lithuania is the country's largest city of Vilnius, which is known for its beautiful architecture. In particular, its old town is a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its stunning Gothic and Baroque-style buildings. A popular site is the 13th-century Higher Castle, which gives a spectacular view of the city. Yet another place for a great view is from St. John's Church. Grab one more bit of history by visiting the Gate of Dawn, the only surviving original gate to the city completed in 1522. And if you're looking for more to do, wander around Poetry Street, a quirky area dedicated to the literary history of Lithuania. Vilnius has also got amazing street art, which you can experience on a walking tour. After you've experienced all that daytime exploring, relax at one of the many chic bars and clubs. The historical city of Vilnius is a must-see in the Baltics. Antwerp, located on the banks of the Schlelt River, about 55 miles from the North Sea, is Antwerp, city of Belgium, which is one of the most important cities in Europe. Antwerp is a city in Belgium that has a lot to offer. Not only is it the diamond capital of the world, but it's also listed among the top tourist destinations. Antwerp is known for its fashion industry, diamond cutting, and art galleries. The city has many attractions for tourists to enjoy, like Rubens House, the Cathedral of Our Lady, the Port of Antwerp, and St. Paul's Church. Apart from its historical places, this city is famous for its paintings and artists. To witness the city's incomparable collection of paintings, you can visit the famous Royal Museum of Fine Arts. Grindavik. With Reyk Janus Peninsula on its north, Grindavik is a small town in Iceland that has some of the most beautiful scenery you will find in the country. Even though Grindavik is just a fishing village, it's a great place to visit in the country. There are many interesting things to see and do in Grindavik, like visiting the Hopsness Lighthouse, swimming in the Blue Lagoon, and exploring the lava fields. If you want to witness the town's culture, you can visit the Viking World Museum or the Icelandic Saltfish Museum. You can also visit the Viking Village on foot to enjoy the local cuisine and lifestyle. Zurich As the largest city in Switzerland, Zurich attracts travelers of all kinds. It's particularly attractive to contemporary art lovers. As the Kunsthaus and the Reitberg Museum have fantastic collections. There are many famous theaters in the city as well. Additionally, shoppers can spend all day strolling along Bonhof Strauss and Niederdorf. Of course, as it sits on Lake Zurich, there are plenty of water activities to do as well. Getting around is easy as Zurich has good public transportation and free bike rentals. After a day of seeing art and beautiful architecture, there are many historic churches here, such as Grossmünster. 
you can head into a meal for a traditional Swiss meal. Zurich's nightlife is great, with hundreds of bars and clubs that stay open very late. Its location in northern Switzerland puts you in a great location to see nearby mountains or bordering countries. Bucharest Romania's largest city and capital is Bucharest. Because of the French-inspired Belle Epoque buildings in Bucharest, the city was given the nickname Little Paris in the 1900s. The city even boasts a comparable but smaller French Arc of Triomphe. The Old Town is the greatest option if you want to enjoy all that Bucharest has to offer, because it's packed with 17th century buildings. The enormous Palace of Parliament, also known as the Conescu Palace, is perhaps what gets the most attention in Bucharest. It is Bucharest's most recognizable landmark, and not to be missed, as it is the second largest building in the world after the Pentagon in the United States. The Piazza Revoluti, where the former royal palace was, is one of another must-visit attractions. It now houses the National Art Museum, containing a notable collection of Romanian medieval art. The Cotswolds The Cotswolds encompass a large area, 800 square miles throughout five counties. It's a beautiful area of the UK known for stunning scenery, quaint villages, and lovely bed and breakfasts. Just two hours from London, the Cotswolds offer a break from the city. As you walk around the English countryside, you'll see historical sites such as Hales Abbey and Sudley Castle. One of the popular trails is Cotswold Way, a 100-mile path that ends in Bath that you can enjoy for however long you like. Windrush Way, just 14 miles, is a shorter path that goes from Winchcombe to Burton on the Water. Several travel companies make amazing itineraries so you can catch all the beautiful sights in nature. For example, bike tours are a great way to experience everything. You'll find quintessential English pubs, houses, inns, and shops in all the small villages peppered throughout the region. Salzburg Located at the northern end of Nake Neusdal, close to both Germany and the Czech Republic, and sitting on a terrace of hills overlooking the Alpine foothills in the Salzburg city of Austria. This city is divided into two parts by its own river, called the Salzach River. On the western side of the river is present what is known as the Old Town of the city of Allstadt, Salzburg. Salzburg's Old Town has a picturesque medieval core surrounded by streets lined with timber-framed buildings, dating from the 18th century onward. Many of these buildings are clustered around pedestrianized plazas and cobblestone squares, creating a compact but lively atmosphere. The city's new town is present in the eastern side of the Salzach River and is one of Europe's most beautiful shopping destinations. It houses some major attractions, such as Mozart's birthplace, Geitre de Gas Street for shopping, and Hangar 7 for amazing bars and restaurants. Dubrovnik Tourists take a collective intake, a sigh of pure awe, when they first step into the city of Croatia. Its beauty is tangible. Panoramic views of the Adriatic Sea, limestone streets, ancient buildings, and amazing history. In fact, etched in every inch of this city is its history. Just one visit to the Old Town will quickly transport you back to the 15th century. Game of Thrones fans, if you feel like Dubrovnik is a little more familiar than usual, it's because it was used as a skyline for King's Landing. The city oozes charm and mystique. A stark contrast away from the usual hustle and bustle of touristy cities, the pedestrian-only main street, the Straden, is somewhere you absolutely must visit. Other attractions include Logia Square, the Fountain of Onofrio, and Baroque-style Dubrovnik Cathedral. You'll be booking your return ticket before you leave. Madeira Located in the North Atlantic Ocean in the southwest side of Poland, it is a warm and peaceful Madeira region of Portugal. This region is known for its lush landscapes, waterfalls, mountain ranges, history, and culture. Madeira offers a lot of things to do for tourists, like hiking, swimming in the ocean, or in pools at hotels, and exploring the island on a bicycle or on foot. The city of Funchal in the Madeira region is also a very popular tourist destination because it has some of the most beautiful beaches in Europe. The ones that must not be missed on your trip to Madeira are Formosa Beach, 
Manchico Beach, Ponta del Sol, and Porta de Cruz. And if you want to enjoy your day in the city, you can visit Parque Forestal de Quemadas, which is a mesmerizing laurel forest. You can also visit the Monte Palace Tropical Garden, Palhero Gardens, or Funchal Cable Car. Manchester. Manchester is a diverse city in the UK with its Victorian era architecture, street art, thriving nightlife, and famous sports traditions. You'll have plenty to see and do. The Manchester Museum has over 4.5 million items, perfect for history lovers, and has free entry. For shopping, check out the Trafford Centre, which is one of the largest malls in the whole country. The cultural heart of Manchester is Salford Quays, where there are many media and art establishments and Chinatown is a great district to grab a bite and shop. Heaton Park, which has gardens, an animal center, a boating lake, and is home to the stately Heaton Hall, is a great place to relax for a picnic by yourself or with family. You can round out your trip by seeing an exciting football game at Manchester's world-famous stadium, Old Trafford. Galway Galway is located on the west coast of Ireland. It's known for its vibrant culture and history as well as its picturesque scenery. There are plenty of things to do in Galway, making it a great destination for a family vacation or a romantic getaway. Some of the places to visit in Galway include the Galway City Museum, which houses a collection of artifacts from the city's history, the National University of Ireland, Galway, which is one of the oldest universities in Ireland, and St. Nicholas's Collegiate Church, which is the largest medieval church in Ireland. If you're looking for a place to enjoy the outdoors, Galway is also home to a number of parks, such as Air Square and Salt Hill Promenade. With so much to see and do, Galway is sure to be a memorable destination for any traveler. Belgrade The largest city in Serbia is Belgrade. Belgrade is a fascinating city to visit, but getting around might be challenging for those unfamiliar with the Cyrillic alphabet because it's being used for practically everything. But fear not, you can still discover this lovely Serbian city with the help of friendly locals. The Kal Megdan Forest is the main attraction to Belgrade. The old city is another great place for an evening stroll for all those history buffs. You can also go to Ada Kiganlia to enjoy some sunbathing. Visit the Savsko Jazaro Lake in the south side of Ada Singilia which is surrounded by elm and oak trees on all sides. Rowing, kayaking, and golf are just a few of the main activities that can be enjoyed here, making it a perfect destination for a family outing or a trip with friends. Yerevan The capital of Armenia, often referred to as the Pink City, is a vibrant, cosmopolitan, and charming old world city that's perfect for a relaxing vacation. With vibrant markets and cafes, bustling squares, and beautiful architecture, Yerevan is an easy place to fall in love with. It's also a great starting point for exploring the surrounding countryside. There are amazing hikes in this area, including Mount Hades, Mount Ara, and the waterfalls of Kazrav Reserve. There's also plenty of historical sites to visit, from ruins to monuments to cathedrals. With so much to do and see in close proximity, you'd be hard-pressed to find a reason not to visit Yerevan. If you're ever visiting this remarkable city, make sure to visit Café Gion Center for the Arts and Republic Square. These are two of the most common tourist spots of Yerevan, and for the right reasons. San Marino San Marino is an independent microstate in the center of Italy. This beautiful region is located on Mount Titano near the lovely Apennine Mountains. San Marino is a great place to visit because it has so many beautiful churches and historical buildings. It's also famous for its wine and cheese. You can find these products all over the country, which makes them very easy to buy. In San Marino, you can feel like you're in a fairy tale because of the beautiful scenery that surrounds you. From castle towns to Monte Tatano, it will be hard not to fall in love with this place. Faroe Islands. Situated in Denmark, a self-governing Danish archipelago of 18 islands in the northern Atlantic, offer a truly unique experience. 
The Faroe Islands are perfect for the nature adventurer. You can bicycle, hike, bird watch, sail, ride horses, and much more. The biggest city is the capital of Torshvan on the island of Stremoy, where nearly half of the population lives. There you'll find turf roofed wooden houses, churches, and museums, and can have a great meal of fish, lamb, potatoes, and other Faroese cuisines. If you venture to this remote archipelago, make the most out of it by traveling to the less visited islands such as Mykenes, Tenjanus, and Geo. The landscapes in the whole region are breathtaking with dramatic fjords, waterside villages, massive cliffs, and hidden beaches. Be sure to pack layers when visiting the Faroe Islands as the weather can shift throughout the day. Almaty. Almaty is the largest city in Kazakhstan and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Central Asia. The city is located in the southeastern part of the country at the base of the Tian Shan Mountains. Almaty is a vibrant cosmopolitan city with a rich culture and history, and is known for its leafy parks, outdoor cafes, and vibrant nightlife. The city's museums and galleries offer a glimpse into Kaza culture and history, and various aspects of Kaza life. For those interested in outdoor activities, Almaty offers opportunities for hiking, climbing, skiing, and horseback riding. The scenic mountain backdrop provides a beautiful setting for these activities, and in addition, Almaty is home to many restaurants and cafes, offering a variety of cuisine to suit every taste. Whether you're interested in exploring Kazga culture and history, or enjoying the outdoors, Almaty has something to offer everyone. Bled One of Slovenia's most well-liked tourist spots is Lake Bled. Lake Bled, which is in the Julian Alps, is as serene as it appears in pictures, and just as unreal as you would expect. The lake hosts a wide range of water activities in the summer, including rowing competitions, and in the winter, it transforms into a massive ice skating rink. Lake Bled is the ideal day excursion from Ljubljana. Of course, a walk around the lake is the ideal way to begin your trip in Lake Bled. It will take between one and two hours to cover the entire lake on foot. You might want to stop and take photographs as it's a very picturesque place. The ideal vantage point for seeing the lake from above is from Mela Osajnika. And to complete this hike, it will take around an hour. Zermatt. This town is a world-renowned mountaineering and ski resort in the south of Switzerland. It's a small town, but it receives a tremendous amount of visitors and for good reason. It's surrounded by stunning mountains of the Alps, including the country's highest peak of Monte Rosa. Because of its unbeatable landscape, Zermatt primarily attracts sports lovers who can explore several different areas around the town. Due to its altitude, people can ski on some peaks near Zermatt throughout the summer. Of course, you have to visit an overlook to view the magnificent Mount Matterhorn and catch the sunrise at Lake Stelisi. There are many biking and hiking trails just waiting to be explored. Take a leisurely stroll in the small and pleasant town for a break from adventure. No motor vehicles are allowed here, making it perfect for a serene getaway. Ayaya Napa One of Cyprus's most beautiful resort towns located in the Greek part of Cyprus. If you're looking for a thriving nightlife, you're in luck. Ayaya Napa just so happens to be the nightlife capital of Cyprus. But it's not all bars and clubs, even if it does them well. The city is peppered with picture-perfect beaches and parks, including one sculpture park and the biggest water park in Europe. You'll want to carve out some time for the city's sea caves, a coastal area filled with grottos, arches, and honed by centuries of wind and storms. Golden Nisi Beach is a popular attraction as well, especially due to its calm waves. Couples on a romantic getaway will enjoy the Love Bridge, famous for its white rock arc. For a good time, follow the music until you reach Central Square. Edinburgh. Famous for its prestigious universities, Edinburgh is a beautiful capital of Scotland, UK. Edinburgh has striking architecture, gothic buildings, and cobbled streets are everywhere, and the hills add to the drama. You'll probably get a workout if you walk around this city center. While there, stroll along the Royal Mile, 
where you'll pass famous landmarks such as St. Giles's Cathedral, Holly Roadhouse Palace, and Edinburgh Castle. A guided tour will give you all of the fascinating history. Another cultural experience is the National Museum of Scotland, which has art, design, and technology artifacts. Edinburgh is best experienced in the summer when flowers bloom and festivals are happening. Be sure to check out the stunning Royal Botanic Garden of Edinburgh on a nice day. At the end of the day, visit Calton Hill for a romantic view of the sunset and the city. Rhodes Known as the Island of the Sun, Rhodes is a beautiful city located in the Dodecanese Islands. It's also a popular tourist destination in Greece due to its lovely beaches, medieval sites, and delightful views. There are many things to do and see in this amazing city, such as visiting the Archaeological Museum of Rhodes, which is one of the most important museums in Greece. It has a rich collection of artifacts from ancient civilizations like the Minoans and Mycenaeans that inhabited what is now called Rhodes. You can also visit the Church of Agios Nikolos in this city, which is one of the most well-loved churches in Rhodes because it houses a large number of icons and other religious artifacts that are hundreds of years old. Other great places to visit in Rhodes are the medieval town of Rhodes, the Church of St. John, and the Palace of the Grand Masters. Porto. It is the second largest city in Portugal. The city is filled with tourists from all over the world, and it's justified since the city has a lot of cultural heritage and architectural wonders. Among the many things to do here, the most popular tourist attraction in Porto is the Santa Catarina Church, which was built in the 18th century. This church is also known as the Chapel of Souls. Apart from this, you can explore the Clerigos Tower, cruise in the Douro River, visit the world's most emblematic bookshop, enjoy a morning walk in Jardins do Palacia de Cristal, explore the Sandman Museum cellar, and in the end, admire the lovely Source dos Reis National Museum. Nice One of the must-visit cities in France is Nice. Situated on the beautiful French Riviera as a huge tourist destination, Nice has both a relaxing beach atmosphere and a bustling city feel. Wander down the seaside promenade des Anglais where you'll be just a few feet from sunbathers on the beach. Another great spot is Old Town, where cafes and open market line quaint, narrow alleys. Place Massinia is more popular with locals, and it's a great starting place to explore the city on foot. Nice also has a long artistic tradition. You can explore this history through the many art collections, such as the Marc Chagall National Museum, that scatter the city. For a panoramic view of the city and the coast, visit the popular Castle Hill of Nice. Nice is a gem on the French Riviera that won't leave anybody disappointed. Stockholm The capital city of Sweden is the largest city in Scandinavia, with a tranquil ambiance owing to the stunning Swedish architecture and scenic ocean views. Consider purchasing the Stockholm Pass if you want to stay in Stockholm for several days. In comparison to paying for entrance fees separately, you might also have a significant amount of money. Stockholm's Old Town, also known as Gamla Stan, is a great place to begin your trip because just strolling around the vibrant streets, exploring all the attractions, and shopping at boutiques are enjoyable. This area is home to the Royal Palace, the Nobel Prize Museum, and the Stockholm Cathedral, all of which ought to be prioritized on any traveler's sightseeing list. Don't forget to check out the Royal Guard Ceremony, commonly known as the Daily Changing of the Guard, at the Royal Palace, which begins at 12.15 p.m. in its outer courtyard. Frankfurt Lying on the banks of the main river is Frankfurt City, which is the business and financial capital of Germany, and the largest city in the federal state of Hesse. This city is not only known for its financial importance, but also is a great place to visit for its culture and outdoor activities. For tourists, this city is like a dream, with its beautiful bridges and famous landmarks attracting a lot of visitors every year. To appreciate its real beauty, you should visit the city on foot or by bicycle when the weather is nice. If you want to explore the city on foot, you should visit Romerberg first, which is the city's old town center. 
To appreciate the city's culture and history, you can visit the Stadal Museum, Museum Surfer, Museum of Modern Art, or the Seckenberg Natural History Museum. Those who want to see something besides these places can visit the beautiful Palm Garden, Frankfurt Cathedral, and Old Opera House, or Hopped Watch. Valletta. This tiny capital of Malta is a harborside picturesque destination filled with art, churches, and palaces. It's pretty small, so walking is doable, and there are plenty of popular bars and restaurants to dine at. The nightlife in Valletta isn't a club scene, but rather casual drinks for a laid-back night. It's a great place to find somewhere to eat and enjoy the evening in the Valletta waterfront. Regarding sightseeing, you can visit the Upper Baraka Gardens, a serene spot that has a beautiful view of the harbor. Another popular spot to visit is City Gate, the main entry point to the city, which will give you access to a footbridge. Here you'll come across the Royal Opera House and the Parliament Building. Lastly, we suggest exploring Merchant Street, where you can roam among spunky cafes and shops. If you're looking for an island adventure with an urban twist, Valletta is your place. Bergen Bergen is a great city in Norway. This special city is a European city of culture and world heritage city, and it can offer its visitors numerous amazing experiences, as well as show them their amazing culture. You can find this city in the middle of the fjords in Norway, and in this area you'll be able to enjoy nature, their culture, and also all kinds of attractions. One of the best things to visit in Bergen is the fjords, of course. These are actually on the UNESCO World Heritage List, and it's simply breathtaking. If you love food, you should definitely visit their fish market and try some of their famous seafood. Another fun activity is to take a hike to one of their seven mountains, but this is only if you want to be really active, of course. Warsaw. Lying in the east central part of Poland and its indestructible capital known as Warsaw. This city was bombed during World War II, but still remains one of the most beautiful capitals in Europe. Warsaw is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Europe. Due to its boulevards, historical buildings, and spectacular architecture, the city is divided into two parts. One is the old town known as Stare Miasto. The old town is often referred to as the heart of Warsaw, and it's a place filled with history, culture, and architecture. The other part of the city is known as Nel Miasto, which is the new town, with some of the most attractive sites and new landmarks. Both of these towns are connected by the Alika Freita. When in Warsaw, some things you can visit and see are the narrowest house in the world, the incredible architecture of Metro Plaque Wilsona, the elegant presidential palace, and the beautiful Saxon garden. Other than these, there is the Neon Museum, Jewish Cemetery, Skaraswiski Park, and Gdansky Bridge that you can visit. Nicosia the world's last divided capital. Nicosia is the Republic of Cyprus's capital, but it's also the capital of Northern Cyprus, recognized by Turkey. This affects tourists only in the way of carrying your passport around and being ready to exchange currency. Nearly every part worth seeing in Nicosia is within a pleasant strolling distance. A surefire way to take advantage of your time is to check out its main shopping street, Ledra Street. We bring up Ledra Street because the coffee is to die for. Energized by this traditional coffee, get ready for a history fusion tour. In the past, the Ottoman, British, and Venetian empires, and more, have left their marks on the city. So you have architecture for days. Somewhere this comes highly recommended are Shakola's Tower and its observatory, the city walls and their moat, and the city's many museums. Baku. It's a modern city located on the Absheron Peninsula in Azerbaijan. It is a popular tourist destination and has plenty to offer, including beaches, parks, museums, and more. It is also a great destination for those who want to experience the culture of Azerbaijan. This city has a population of over 2 million people, and it's also one of the largest cities in all of Europe. There are many places to visit in Baku, including its Haydar Aliyev Cultural Center, which has a lot of history and culture for tourists to explore. There's also many different museums and art galleries that visitors can enjoy, including the Atashga Maiden Tower, 
and Azerbaijan National Carpet Museum. Copenhagen, capital of Denmark. You'll be met with modern architecture, tons of culture, unbeatable nightlife, rich history, and world-class food. On top of all that, it's one of the most environmentally friendly cities in the world, and the population continually ranks among the happiest. So what makes Copenhagen so great? As the capital of Denmark, it has much to offer for all travelers at any time of the year. History buffs can find remains of a thousand-year-old castle, museums, stunning Baroque churches, and reconstructed villages. The city also is filled with many art galleries, quaint streets, 15 Michelin star restaurants, and some of the oldest amusement parks in the world. Geneva. The cosmopolitan city of Switzerland is surrounded by mountains and water. Situated close to the French border, Geneva is filled with great nature and urban opportunities. You can't miss Old Town, which has St. Peter's Cathedral and the Chapel of the Maccabees, Bastion Park and the Reformation Wall. Additionally, the Jardin Anglaise and the Flower Clock are popular with locals and tourists alike. Get even closer to Lake Geneva to visit Parc de la Grange and Parc des Ouvives, and take a dip in Bains de Paquet, a swimming spot in the middle of the city. Additionally, Geneva has many museums, a botanical garden, concert halls, and sculptures throughout the city. The public transportation is easy to use, and the whole city is sparklingly clean, making for an overall pleasant and relaxing experience in the French-speaking region of Switzerland. San Sebastian Situated in Spain, also known as Donostia in the Basque language, and it's located on the stunning shell-shaped La Concha Bay. It's considered to be one of the most spectacular bays in the world. La Concha, Zuriola, and Andaretta are three of the city's on-site beaches. However, San Sebastian is well known for its great cuisine. A must visit is the old town of San Sebastian. Everything that defines San Sebastian, from nice baked goods to local souvenirs, can, can be found at the famous La Brezza Market. Highlights include the Baroque Basilica of Santa Mara del Coro and the Museum of San Telmo. Go to Monte Igueldo for breathtaking views of the San Sebastian area. One of the local Basque artists, Eduardo Chalita's most well-known sculptures, Comb of the Wind, is situated at the end of Andaretta Beach, at the foot of Monte Igueldo. Lisbon Lisbon is a city that's been attracting tourists for centuries. It's the capital and also the largest city in Portugal. Lisbon is the destination for those who want to enjoy the sun, the beach, and its nightlife. It offers plenty of attractions for tourists who are looking to spend their vacation on the beach or just want to relax on a sunny day. One such attraction is Casque Beach, which provides an idyllic spot with golden sands and clear blue water. Lisbon also has a lot to offer in terms of sightseeing and activities. There are many museums in Lisbon that can be visited by tourists and locals alike. One of them is the Museum of Ancient Art, which houses some of Portugal's most significant works of art from the 16th century onwards. Krakow. If you love medieval towns, you should definitely visit Krakow in Poland. Although the town itself is quite old, there are plenty of fun things to do as well. They have a lot of cultural spots to visit as well as numerous fun restaurants and bars. You should visit Titano Bars, for example. You can find it a few minutes away from the main square, and it's used to be a tobacco factory, but they've now turned it into a fun restaurant. Another fun activity in Krakow is to visit the Kopiek Mounds. These are small hills that are really fun to walk to the top of and admire the view. You can also just go to Zak Zowak. This is a stunning lagoon just outside of the city center where you can relax or sunbathe in the summer. The lagoon has beautiful turquoise waters and pretty cliffs. And lastly, you can learn a lot about the Jewish culture at the Galicia Jewish Museum. It can be quite tough to see all the awful things that have happened to Polish Jews in history, but it's important to learn about these things. Budapest. 
divided by the river Danube in the central European city called Budapest that connects the Carpathian Hills with the Hungarian Plain. This city is a popular destination for tourists from all around the world due to its cultural heritage and rich history. The city has been influenced by Western European cultures with a strong emphasis on Central European architecture, which can be seen in its buildings and monuments. You can visit Budapest for its remarkable architecture, its museums, and its many thermal spas. The city has the largest number of thermal springs, which is why it is known as the spa capital of the world. Some of the most popular places to visit in the city are the Zekhinyi Baths, the House of Terror, St. Stephen's Basilica, and the Hungarian National Gallery. Tbilisi Rising high on the Caucasus Mountains, with Mutkuri River running on its western side, lies one of the oldest cities in Europe, Tbilisi. Tbilisi is the capital of Georgia, and it is a city full of European culture and art. You will find the most aesthetically pleasing architecture here with pastel-colored buildings and wooden carved balconies, keeping the essence of old times. There are many interesting things to see and do here, like Rizzo Gabriazzi Marionette Theater, which will leave you in awe with its famous puppet performance. If you want to learn about the culture of this artsy city, you can visit the Georgian National Museum or Museum of Illusions here. Bridge of Peace, Narakala Fortress, Sminda Samiba Cathedral, and Rustaveli Avenue are also some of the top tourist attractions in this city. Now that Tbilisi is transitioning from a historical city to a modern capital, you can find many bars, galleries, hotels, and clubs here that are open 24-7. Paphos so, Cyprus is the Mediterranean's third biggest island, and it's home to Paphos, said to be the birthplace of the Greek goddess Aphrodite. It's an actual place you can visit. If there is such a thing as the perfect beach holiday destination, it's got to be Paphos. Here you'll find countless blue flag beaches, which means they're award-winning and that they've lived up to a complicated criteria of eco-friendliness and maintenance. You're guaranteed a win-win if you take a promenade along Paphos's harbor, as it's already on your way to the city's most iconic destinations. The most impressive beach probably has to be Coral Bay, but the Blue Lagoon and its snorkeling, canoeing, and sea caves are not to be missed. Paphos is embroidered with historic significance. You'll find near otherworldly mosaics at Kaito Paphos Archaeological Park the House of Theseus, which depicts Theseus mid-battle with a minotaur. Munich Munich is not only the capital of Bavaria, but also the third largest city in Germany, with around 1.5 million people living there. This city has so much to offer for tourists, from its culture and architecture to its beer and food, that it will not disappoint anyone who visits it. If you want to spend the day exploring Munich, the first thing you should do is visit the Marienplatz. But if you want to get an idea of what it was like in the past of this city, you should go to the nearby Odeon Splats, where you can find statues of various military leaders and also of King Ludwig I, which makes for an interesting juxtaposition and is worth seeing. There are many other great places in this city, such as the English Garden, Nymphenburg Palace and Gardens, the Olympic Park, and Munich Residence. Brussels Brussels is the capital of Belgium and also the largest city in Belgium. It has a population of 2 million people and is divided into 19 communes or districts. Brussels has a rich history and culture that can be seen in its architecture, museums, festivals, food, art galleries, etc. It is also a premier tourist destination for both Europeans and international visitors alike. The city's name derives from the Dutch word Brueoek Sela which means muddy water, as the area was marshland before it was drained in medieval times. Now this city is home to various charming tourist destinations. First, there's the famous Grand Palace, which mesmerizes the tourist with its striking architecture and giant halls. Without visiting the spectacular Notre Dame du Sablon, admire Le Botanique and Palais Royal in Brussels. You cannot say you visited Brussels at all. St. Petersburg 
Situated near the Baltic Sea in the northwestern Russia is St. Petersburg City, previously known as Petrograd and then Leningrad. It is a great place to visit for people who want to see a lot of history, culture, and art. The city has so much to offer that it's hard to list it all. The Winter Palace is one of the most popular tourist attractions in St. Petersburg. It was built in 1708 and has been home to many Russian monarchs since then. It's an iconic building that has been featured in many films and TV shows set in Russia. The Hermitage Museum is another popular tourist attraction with over 3 million visitors each year. It is the world's largest museum and exploring it should definitely be on your bucket list. Other amazing places to visit in this city are the Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood, Grand Peterhof Palace, Catherine Palace and Park, and Tsar Khoi Selo State Museum Preserve. Tallinn Estonia is a hidden gem in Europe. Tallinn, the capital, was established in early medieval times and today has a lovely blend of the old and the new. As Estonia's cultural, economic, and industrial center, it has tons to experience, including versatile nightlife, cultural experiences, and beautiful historical architecture. As a coastal city, Tallinn has nearby sandy beaches that are especially alluring in the summer. It also has a thriving fine arts scene with places such as the photography hub of Photografiska Tallinn and the Kumu Art Museum. An absolute must-see in Tallinn Old Town, one of the best-preserved medieval cities in Europe. You can also visit the upper town, Tumpia, lower town, Olin, and other neighborhoods to see it all. If you happen to be traveling to Tallinn over the winter, make sure to catch a storybook-esque Christmas market. Amalfi Coast Amalfi Coast is a place of dramatic beauty in Italy. Perched atop cliffs that plunge into the Tyhenian Sea, the town of Amalfi is a popular destination for tourists from all over the world. Surrounded by lush Mediterranean vegetation, the town offers stunning views of the coastline and its azure waters. Visitors can explore the town's winding streets, visit the Cathedral of St. Andrea, and enjoy the local cuisine. For those seeking a more active vacation, there are numerous hiking trails in the area. The Amalfi Coast is also a popular destination for boaters and sailors who come to enjoy the area's sheltered coves and sheltered beaches. Of course, no trip to the Amalfi Coast could be complete without enjoying some of the region's delicious food and wine. From fresh seafood to handmade pasta, there's plenty of culinary delights to enjoy. The Amalfi Coast is a place that should not be missed. Florence, one of the most beautiful cities in Italy, and there are plenty of great places to visit when you're here. Today, Florence is a major tourist destination known for its art, architecture, food, and wine. Some of the must-see sites in Florence include the Duomo, an impressive cathedral that definitely is worth a look, and the nearby Campanile Tower, offering stunning views of the city. The Ponte Vecchio is another Florence landmark that definitely is worth a visit. It's the oldest bridge in the city, and it's lined with shops selling everything from jewelry to leather goods. Of course, no trip to Florence would be complete without spending some time wandering around the cobbled streets of the historic center, where you'll find plenty of cafes, restaurants, and boutiques. Whether you're interested in art, history, or just soaking up the atmosphere, Florence has something for everyone. Canary Islands Situated in Spain, sometimes known as the Canaries, are a collection of islands that include Tenerife, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, La Palma, La Gomera, and El Hierro, in order of size. Spend some time strolling through Santa Cruz de Tenerife when you're on the Canary Islands. Visit the Tenerife Opera House, which has impressive architectural features that easily challenge those of famous Sydney Opera House. One of the busiest beaches on Gran Canaria is Playa de Mas Palomas. It is renowned for beautiful large sand dunes and an elegant lighthouse that originally lit up in 1890. Numerous water activities are available all around the Canary Islands for the water sports lovers. You can explore a lot of the unique aquatic life that surrounds this island by diving, whereas triggerfish, blenny, and groupers are some of the fish you can see here. Dublin the capital of Ireland and one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. Whether you're interested in history, culture, or just want to enjoy some great food and drink, Dublin is something for everyone. 
Dublin can be quite crowded, especially in the summer months, and if you're visiting during peak season, it's a good idea to book your accommodation and tickets for attractions in advance. Second, although Dublin is known for its pubs, there's much more to the nightlife scene than just drinking. There are plenty of must-see sites, such as the Book of Kells and Trinity College. For those looking to explore the outdoors, Phoenix Park's a great option. And for a more urban adventure, Temple Bar is a must-visit. Finally, don't forget to pack your raincoat! Dublin may be famous for its sunny weather, but it can also get quite rainy at times. Venice City in Italy like no other, built on a series of canals on more than 100 small islands in a lagoon in the Adriatic Sea, it offers a wealth of attractions for visitors. From the stunning architecture of St. Mark's Basilica to the bustling energy of the Rialto Bridge, there's something to suit everyone's taste. And of course, no trip to Venice would be complete without a ride on a gondola through the city's canals. Venice is also home to a number of museums and art galleries, making it a perfect destination for art lovers. With so much to see and do, Venice is an ideal destination for a holiday or a short break. Whether you're looking for history, culture, or just a unique experience, Venice should definitely be on your list of places to visit. Madrid Despite lacking the beach lifestyle of destinations like Barcelona or Valencia, this beautiful capital city of Spain more than makes up for it with culture and charm. The Thyssen Bornemisia and Reina Sofa and Museo del Prado are three of Madrid's most notable museums. A stunning park with UNESCO World Heritage status, El Ritairo Park is located in the center of the city. It's the ideal location to unwind while enjoying a small picnic, especially following a full day of sightseeing. Street art is everywhere, making a stroll in search of it one of the best ways to discover Madrid's different communities. Additionally, you can go to the La Latina neighborhood's El Rostro Flea Market, which is open every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. to find vintage clothing, old books, antiques, and much more to take back home. Tirana With the Adriatic and Ionian coastline on one side, lies one of the most important cities in Albania known as Tirana. It is a city of colorful buildings, historical sites, and breathtaking beaches. Another thing that makes Tirana a popular tourist destination is its warm climate. For someone who wants to spectacle just the historic art and culture and get some time away from Western capitalism, Tirana is the place for them. This city has only a few KFC franchises and focuses more on promoting local brands and businesses. When in Tirana, you can visit Skanderbeg Square, which is the center point of the city. Just to the north is the city's famous National History Museum. Boulevard of National Martyrs, the Grand Park, and the Pyramid of Tirana are some of the tourist destinations that you don't want to miss when visiting this beautiful city. Oslo The capital city of Norway, and it's located in the southern part of Norway. It has a population of approximately 647,676 people, and this makes it the largest city in Norway as well. When you visit Oslo, you can visit some of their popular museums or parks like Frogner Park, for example. You should also visit the Oslo Opera House during your stay in Oslo, as it is the largest cultural building in Norway. In Oslo, you'll also find a castle from 1920 called the Arkes Hus Fortress. It used to be a prison and is still used by the military to this day. Another great highlight to visit in Oslo is Det Konglage Slot, which is the royal palace. The palace was built in the 1800s, and the Norwegian royal family lives there. Moscow Standing on the Moskva River in the center of Russia as its capital and also its largest city, Moscow is one of the most visited cities in the world, and there are uncountable reasons to visit Moscow, but we'll just name a few of them. The city has a rich culture and history, and you can experience it by visiting the Kremlin, Red Square, Chamber of Facets, and Cathedral of the Savior on the Boar. The food here is also delicious. You should try some Russian food when you visit Moscow to get that full experience. And don't worry, the people are friendly and welcoming too. It's not uncommon to find someone who speaks English when you need help navigating through town. Lyon Situated in the southeast corner of France is the beautiful city of Lyon. Lyon emerged as an economic hub during the Renaissance and remains one to this day. Lyon is known for its gastronomy, historic landmarks and districts, and a truly fascinating urban layout. For example, 
Trabule are passageways that date to the Renaissance and run underneath buildings. Over 40 are open to the public. For nightlife, great food, and shopping, visit the Presque Ile neighborhood, located on a strip of land between the Rhone and Suon rivers. There are several cathedrals to discover, including the fabulous Lyon Cathedral and the Fuvier Basilica, which sits on a hilltop overlooking the city. Lyon also boasts the Musée des Beaux Arts de Lyon, the second largest fine art museum after the Louvre. You can also find art everywhere as over 100 huge murals decorate this French city. Berlin, the capital of Germany, and it is one of the most popular cities in the world. Let's tell you why. With the Baltic Sea at its south and the Spree River running right through its center, Berlin is a historic city in Germany that's famous for its many museums and strong musical roots. The iconic architecture, vibrant streets, and multicultural society make this German city a fascinating place to visit. This city is also known for its outdoor life as well as its nightlife and music scene. Even though every corner of this cozy city is worth visiting, some places that you should not miss are the Brandenburg Gate, the Museum of Fine Art, the rebuilt Reichstag Museum Island, and the Jewish Museum. Barat Cascading from Mount Tamor and looking down on the banks of the Osam River, Barat is a small town in Albania, famous for its beautiful landscapes, old buildings, and captivating tourist destinations. This town has a rich history dating back to prehistoric times and has been an important religious center for many centuries. Home to 69,000 individuals, Barat is also known as the City of the Thousand Windows due to obvious reasons. The city is covered by whitewashed cobblestone houses with brown roofs and multiple windows. Apart from the scenic beauty, Barat has many tourist attractions. First, there's Barat Castle, which is a symbol of the town's symbolic architecture. However, most people come to see Barat to see breathtaking views of the Albanian Alps. And other than that, the town has a number of churches and other religious buildings, as well as several museums and cafes. Athens, the largest city in Greece, which is also its capital, is known as Athens, which is a city worth visiting for both its historical roots and modern delights. Tourists can visit the Acropolis and Parthenon and other ancient ruins. There are a reminder of Athens' glorious past. The Temple of Poseidon is also a place you should visit to see how the Athenians worship their gods. This city has a huge collection of old museums, but there is more to it than just the historical or cultural sites. You can wander in the Anna Fiotica and Placa neighborhoods, or you can stroll in the National Gardens. And the Zapion Niskalus Street Stairs is the place to go if you want to grab dinner and socialize in the vibrant city of Athens. Milan. If you're looking for a European city that has it all, then this city of Italy is the place for you. This chic metropolis is known for its high fashion and design, but there's more to it than just shopping. From world-renowned restaurants to historical churches, Milan is something for everyone. A visit to the Duomo, the city's Gothic cathedral, is a must-see. For art lovers, the Pinacoteca di Brera houses, one of the finest collections of Italian paintings in the world, and no trip to Milan would be complete without a sampling of the delicious food they offer. From hearty pasta dishes to mouth-watering desserts, you'll find plenty to whet your appetite. So whether you're looking for culture, cuisine, or just a taste of la dolce vita, add Milan to your traveling list and you won't be disappointed. Vienna Lying just near the Danube River is one of Europe's most visited cities, known as Vienna, the capital of Austria. This city has a population of over 1.8 million people and has many tourist attractions. Vienna is a city of music, culture, and history. It's home to the Vienna State Opera, the Hofburg Palace, and more. The most famous sites in Vienna are St. Stephen's Cathedral, Skonbrunn Palace, the Weiner Reisenrad Ferris Wheel, and the Knox Market Food Market. Each of these places has its own specialty. St. Stephen's Cathedral is known for its majestic towers that rise up to adorn the skyline of Vienna. Schönbrunn Palace is a beautiful representation of the imperial lifestyle. You might think that the Weiner Rosenrad Ferris Wheel is just a regular Ferris Wheel, but it's not. It's one of the oldest Ferris Wheels in the world, standing high for almost a century now. 
Now you can see why Vienna is the most visited city. Vatican City Vatican City is the smallest sovereign state, but it's packed with history, beautiful architecture, and some of the most renowned artwork. As the Roman Catholic Church headquarters, this city has a lot of religious history to discover. St. Peter's Basilica is a staple of the Vatican, which is free to enter. Underneath the building are the Vatican Grottoes, which house the tombs of several popes. The basilica sits next to St. Peter's Square, a main gathering place, surrounded by columns and statues. Of course, everyone needs to see the Sistine Chapel, whose ceiling is masterfully decorated by Michelangelo. In the middle of Vatican City, you can relax in the Vatican Gardens dating back to medieval times. You need a guided tour, but it's well worth it. Vatican City is a truly unique spot in Italy to experience centuries of history and art. Barcelona The city of Spain boasts remarkable old buildings, great culture scene, wonderful Mediterranean climate, and stunning beaches. The Sagrada Familia Church is by far the most famous attraction in Barcelona and is the most famous example of Gaudi's work. Sagrada Familia captivates anyone with its sheer beauty and incredible Gothic and contemporary architectural style. The expedited construction, which began in 1882, is anticipated to be completed in 2026. Another remarkable design by Gaudi, Parc Guell, providing visitors with magnificent views of the city. The best way to explore the top attractions, learn about the city's history and culture, is to sign up for a walking tour. La Rambla, Barcelona's most well-known street, is another option for you to explore. It's a bustling area full of restaurants, boutique shops, and shops selling anything from clothing and flowers to souvenirs and specialty goods. Andorra la Vela With a long history, Andorra is located in the Pyrenees Mountains and is one of the most scenic areas of the world. The country is known for its medieval towns, ski resorts, hiking trails, and breathtaking views. There are many things to see and do in Andorra, from skiing to wine tasting to outdoor activities. The first place you should visit is the Casa de la Val, which is a medieval fortress. This place is now a museum and lets you take a glimpse of the city's fascinating history. And if you're ready for a day out, head to Rec del Sola for some skiing and explore the mountain trails. And if you would rather enjoy the city's culture and history, you can go to Plaza del Poble, Centro Historico, and Sant Esteve Church. Each one of these places will tell you a different story about this amazing city. Amsterdam If you've always loved the canals of Venice, you should definitely visit Amsterdam in the Netherlands as well. Did you know that this city actually has more canals than Venice? It has 165 of them which have a length of more than 60 miles when you combine all of them together. There are a lot of things to do and see in Amsterdam. You can visit some museums, for example, like the Ridgex Museum, or visit a popular highlight nearby called Kuchenhof. This is one of the largest flower gardens in the world. There are a lot of unique foods that you should try in Amsterdam, like stroopwafels with your coffee, or bitterballen, for example. Lastly, biking is really popular in the Netherlands, and especially Amsterdam, so rent a bike during your visit and explore this city. Prague The capital of Czechia, with its dramatic medieval architecture, cobblestone roads, and countless bridges, the city of Prague can easily fill a multi-day vacation. From nightlife to museums, everyone can find something exciting to do in this Central European hub. Start by visiting the old town, Star Mesto, which is home to the famous astronomical clock, the Art Nouveau-style municipal house, and much more. After that, you can venture into Newtown, Nove Mesto, and browse the historic Wenceslas Square. As a cultural center, Prague has many major museums, including the Franz Kafka Museum and the Museum of Contemporary Arts. Prague is also world famous for its beer. You'll rarely be further than a few steps from a cozy pub or bar where you can sip on a lager. Of course, there's no shortage of great food as there are over 25 Michelin star restaurants in this cosmopolitan city. Rome, the capital of Italy, and it's a city full of history, art, and culture. There are plenty of things to see and do, making it a perfect destination for a long weekend getaway. Some of the most popular tourist attractions include the Colosseum, the Vatican Museums, and the Sistine Chapel. For those interested in historical sites, the Roman Forum and the Palatine Hill are also worth a visit. Shopping and dining are also popular activities in Rome. 
with both high-end stores and local boutiques dotting the cityscape. And of course, no trip to Rome would be complete without sampling some of the delicious food for which Italy is famous. From pizza and pasta to gelato and espresso, there are endless ways to indulge in the city's culinary delights. Whether you're looking to explore ancient ruins or simply enjoy some good food and shopping, Rome has something for everyone. Minsk, the capital of Belarus, an East European country with a long history. It's located on the banks of the Neman River, and it's one of the best travel destinations if you want to witness Soviet architecture. The old buildings in Minsk are mainly made of stone or brick, but some are made of iron and glass. These buildings are decorated with carving statues and other details that make them stand out as unique. The most visited tourist spot in Minsk is the Museum Strana Mini, which showcases miniature versions of Belarus castles, Island of Tears, which comprises various monuments and statues, and the National Library of Belarus, are two other most visited places in this beautiful city. Istanbul. This beautiful city of Turkey is a cultural and historic center that dates back to the 7th century BCE. With such a long history, Istanbul is filled with fascinating architecture, art, and neighborhoods. One must-see is the Hagia Sophia Mosque, a building that has both Islamic and Christian elements due to its long past. Visit the Blue Mosque, founded in 1616, the Ktura Church, which has beautiful mosaics and frescoes, and the Top Kapi Palace, while sightseeing as well. For a huge taste of culture, travelers should visit the Grand Bazaar, where merchant stalls fill several hallways. To see a stunning overhead view of Istanbul, visit the Galata Tower. The gastronomy is amazing too. Try local foods such as pide, Turkish pizza, and kebabs. Another great way to round out your visit is to cruise on the Bosphorus River, where you can see the city from a different perspective. Paris. Famously referred to as the city of love, Paris is known for its winding streets, romantic restaurants, and elegant cafes along the Seine. It's not just the capital of France. It's one of the world's cultural, financial, artistic, and gastronomic centers. Throughout 20 arrondissements, there is so much area to roam. Discover the stunning Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris, Saint Chapelle, and the Arc de Triomphe for centuries old architecture. Art lovers can spend hours in the world renowned Louvre and the Musée d'Orsay. Of course, you can't miss the iconic Eiffel Tower, a particularly charming part of Paris's Montmartre, which for decades has been an artistic hub for painters such as Picasso and Matisse. Make sure to soak up the Parisian atmosphere at the Luxembourg Gardens or a cafe along the Seine. No matter what you're looking for, Paris will no doubt satisfy you. London. London is absolutely jam-packed with experiences to do as a major world city. Famous landmarks in the downtown area include Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, the Churchill War Rooms, Tower Bridge, the London Eye, the British Museum, and Westminster Abbey. Hyde Park is a beautiful green space in the city and can give travelers a break from the sightseeing. London is a huge and diverse city with many different neighborhoods. Camden is an alternative culture hub with tons of street food. Soho has thriving night lights and many theaters. Shoreditch is a trendy area full of bars, cafes, and cool shops. Piccadilly Circus has huge theaters and a Ripley's, believe it or not. Catch some great shopping on the extremely busy Oxford Street. And a fun way to get an overarching view of the city is by taking a leisurely guided cruise on the River Thames. So which city did you like the most? Tell us in the comments and let us know which one was your favorite city.